So how do I merge geometry? Now this is a very fundamental thing that you need to understand when working with models inside of Houdini. And when I say working with models, I'm not talking about working with objects, but I'm talking about working with the geometry that ends up making up that particular object. Now to make this a little bit more fun, let's create ourselves a quick little snowman to demonstrate the concept I'd like to get across. So starting out here at the scene level, I'm going to come up here to my shelf and control left click on the sphere and that is going to create a couple of things. Well, you know, at surface value, we see a sphere in a viewport. But if we look over here in our network editor, we have a geometry node that has been added into the scene. And inside this geometry node is a sphere surface node. Now, how do I want to create this snowman? I can go about it two different ways. I can create it as object by object, meaning we've got one object here. So now I can simply control C, control V to paste another another one of these and I can simply move that one up and hit Y to toggle over and scale this guy down and then I could simply hit control V to paste yet another one move this guy up and we'll do the same thing hit Y to toggle my handle and scale down and there's a real quick snowman what do we really have going on over here we have three different objects okay that's the key thing to understand three different objects so now if I wanted to move my snowman object well he's really three different objects and I would need to make sure that I came in here and selected this guy right here and then I could move him but oh, the other guys don't come so they would need to be parented etc etc and that's not what I'm looking for in this case since I'm wanting to demonstrate by the way I just did an undo since I am wanting to demonstrate how we can merge geometry let's take a look at creating the snowman as a single object so let's come over here and kill out both of these guys I'll simply hit delete after selecting them and I'm gonna rename this one object to snowman like such now let's go ahead and double click on this geometry node to step inside of it and I'm gonna hit space H to go ahead and home up my network editor so there we go we are currently looking at the base and with this guy let's say I want to go ahead and make his radius just a little bit bigger so I'll just middle click and use my value ladder there to adjust it now I'll simply control C, control V, and we'll make a copy of the sphere surface node. And with this guy, what I'm going to do is come over here and hit tab and type in transform, T-R-A-N, and there we are with a transform node. And I'm going to simply wire the transform node in, move my display flag down to it. So now I am looking at this particular output of this branch of the network. So I'm looking at the result of my sphere node after being transformed. And at the moment, we haven't actually transformed it, so he's still sitting there. Now, I can go ahead and move this guy up if I'd like. So if I come over here and let's say we move him up, it would be nice if we were able to see the other sphere so let's go ahead and click on this guy activate the template flag for him so that while I am working over here I can still see the other guy as a matter of fact if I turn off my grid it might make things just a little bit easier so I'll go ahead and hit Y so that I can use a handle it'll make life just a little bit easier I'll hit Y again to toggle over to uh, the handle that gives me translate and scale so we'll take this guy the middle section of the snowman maybe scale him down just a little bit move them up a little bit like such now let's grab these two guys control C control V and then with this third branch of the network let's go ahead and with this guy maybe move him up a little bit more oh I'd like to be able to see that middle sphere so I will simply control click on my transforms display or excuse me template flag so that I can see and so now with this guy over here I'll hit Y to toggle over and maybe scale him down like such so there's our little head for our snowman and there is our mighty fine looking snowman but let's take a look at the problem if I hit you to jump back up to the scene level all I am seeing is the result of the final node that has the display flag active so really if I come over here, hit S to go to the select and deselect everything, all I see is one sphere. Doesn't look much like a snowman. This is where merge becomes very important. So I'm going to double click to jump back into the snowman, hit tab, type in part of merge, M-E-R, there we go. I'll hit enter, drop the merge in, and now I'll simply alt click, 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 and click click there we go and I just use alt so that I don't have to go in here and focus on clicking on the exact output now let's move the display flag down here to merge so I have merged all of my geometry together and let's hit you to jump back up and there is my snowman so now with my snowman selected I can come over here and hit T and look at that I am moving the 
object around. And in this case, the object is the entire snowman. So that is how you can go about merging geometry together. And with that, that is going to wrap up this quick, How Do I?